Your friend is bleeding. Don't rush in. You check your surroundings. Is the threat gone? Is the area secure? Only then do you go to them. They're on the ground. Check their breathing, their pulse. The ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. You learn that from an old world manual. Now for the wound. Blood, more than you wanna see. Your first instinct is your best one, pressure. Take the cleanest cloth you have and press down hard. Don't let up. If the cloth soaks through, don't remove it. Add another layer on top and keep pressing. If it's an arm or a leg and the bleeding is arterial, gushing with each heartbeat and won't stop, you need a tourniquet. Find a strip of fabric, something wide, at least two inches, a torn shirt sleeve, a bandana. Never use wire or a shoelace. It'll cut right through to the bone. Wrap it a few inches above the wound between the injury and the heart. Tie a half knot, place a stick or a sturdy piece of metal on top, and tie a full knot over it. Now twist. Twist the stick until the bleeding stops. Not slows down, stops. Secure the stick in place, and with a piece of charcoal or their own blood, write the time on their forehead. Every second it's on risks the limb, but it's the limb or their life. The bleeding is controlled. The immediate crisis is over, but the real war has just begun. The war against infection. If there's an object still in the wound, a shard of glass, a broken arrow tip, you leave it. It might be acting as a plug. Your job is to stabilize it, pack cloth around it so it can't move. Now, clean the area. Use water you've boiled and let cool. That's non-negotiable. Boil any cloths you plan to use for dressing, too. If you don't have commercial antiseptics, a mix of vinegar, water, and salt is a decent substitute. It will sting like hell. That's how you know it's working. Gently flush the wound, getting any dirt or debris out. Pat it dry with a sterile cloth and cover it. The next 72 hours are critical. You will check that wound every day. You're looking for the signs. Redness creeping out from the edges, swelling, a warmth to the skin that wasn't there before, new pain, and the clearest sign, pus. Thick, foul-smelling discharge. You might see red streaks radiating from the wound, crawling up the limb. That's a sign the infection is in the lymphatic system. It's a dire warning. If you have no scavenged antibiotics, you turn to what the earth gives you. Raw, unprocessed honey is a miracle. It's antibacterial. Pack it into the cleaned wound before dressing it. A paste made from turmeric powder and clean water works too. While the body fights, you have to fuel it. They need food, especially protein, for rebuilding tissue. They need water more than they think. You can even create a dressing that warns you. It takes work, but it can save a life. Find animal skin or tendons. Boil them down until you get a thick gelatin. To this, mix in turmeric powder. While it's warm, spread it on a clean dressing and apply it. The yellow turmeric is now your sentinel. If a bacterial infection begins to grow, the wound's environment will become more alkaline. The yellow dressing will begin to shift, turning a reddish brown. It's an alarm bell made from scraps. It's a way to see the invisible enemy before it takes hold. In the end, treating a wound like this is more than just a medical procedure. It's a statement that a life is worth fighting for, with knowledge, with pressure, with honey and boiled water. In this world, that is the most important skill you can have. It's the difference between a scar that tells a story and a grave that ends one.